brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. All praise due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone do we serve, the alone seeks for thine help and aid. O oh, Allah, guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou hast thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. Say he allows one God, allows he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He begat us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness and I deserve to be sir, worship, the praise, beside Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean. Alaikum. I like saying the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, true and living God, we further thank him. Read it from the divine leader, teaching guide, and the person of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Sir. Peace and blessing of Almighty God of Allah be upon him. Truly great for his coming. And giving us the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. This last and greatest messenger. A messenger that we know for sure it is no longer with you and I in the physical form. That what was given to him from Almighty God Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, lived with you and I to believe us. And we know for sure that he was the last and greatest messenger. Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that a divine messenger is chosen by God. He's not chosen by the people. It's a blessing that Allah chose him himself yes, sir. and taught him for three and a half years the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of both books. We have a wise God that's present today and is well able, the messenger taught us, to save us from the hands of the enemy, the white man, which we know is the devil. Yes, sir. And he taught us that he is the devil and he always will be the devil and don't you ever forget it. So that's what he told us that and we know that in our lesson that you cannot reform the devil. You have to be reborn. You cannot reform the devil. You sort of all these all moms will not murder the devil. Why? Because they know that he's a snake. And if he'd be allowed to live, he would sting someone else. That alone should give us an understanding of who the white man is. Yes, sir. We're not laying nothing on the white man. We know we can't fault him today. But what we have a knowledge of him. Those of us who have the knowledge of him, we can't fault him today. But those who don't have the knowledge of him, it's a different thing. But before I continue, we have brothers and sisters that uh, want to extend the greetings from you and I, to you and I. This is to let you and I know that we're not by ourselves. It's very few of us. It's like this all across the country. It's very few of the messengers followers. True followers. One who submit their will to do the will of Allah. The one who's striving hard to uplift the messenger and his teachings from Almighty God Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Um, it's brother Basir Biyah, Biyah, what is it? Uh, Basim, Basim Biyah. He sent us the greetings of Salam Alaikum. And uh, brother Harbish Yabaz and his family, he's out of Virginia. He sent us the greetings of Salam Alaikum. Brother Mustafa and Sister Sharice, they also sent the greetings of Salam Alaikum. All these brothers and sisters send the greetings of our Salam Alaikum. Brother Quincy and his wife, Sister Sher Car Catherine, Sister Patricia Muhammad, Minister Isaac, Shabazz Farad Muhammad, Brother Captain Quadus, and the believers from Philly, Brother Captain Salim Bay out of Oakland, California, Brother Calvin Shabazz, and Brother 
Brock Waheed. He's out of Philadelphia also. Uh, these brothers and sisters, and who? Oh, Brother Rockman and Sister uh, uh, Akila and her family. And who? Oh, Brother Alazim Muhammad, that's your father, right? He says the greetings also about some of them like All these brothers and sisters, the brother told me once before, but it's not what are always out in front of you. There's a lot behind the scene that's going on that we don't even know about. And a lot of people don't know about Master Prophet Muhammad. He's behind the scene. And he's helping us. And he's going to bless us and we're going to be successful. You know, because after Islam, everything, Islam comes after everything else has failed. It's what the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us. And prior to our accepting Islam, we know that we was failures. We know we was lost. We know that we was wallowing in the mud. We know that we had to have a divine messenger teaching to bring us up out of the mud. And he also had to have a God who's well able to protect us and bring us out of that mud through his teachings. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He was the last messenger of Allah. No one else could take the place of a messenger because no one else was given the message and authority to teach this teaching as the messenger of Allah. It's the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He was a man, a brother like you and I, who was lost, who was dead, who ate hog, who did the wrong things like we did, and he accepted Allah. He said that it knocked on his door. He said, I know who you are. He said, you've had a long way to save you who was predicted to come and has come. The Mahadi, God in person. He said, well, I am. I'm that one. He said, but uh, don't tell nobody yet. So when he said don't tell nobody yet, that means nobody else knew but him. So in other words, he was instructed at a certain time to let them know. So you have a lot of them come in and say they talk to Allah, this or that. But if they talk to Allah, they didn't know it. They didn't know who they was talking to. But the messenger, he was dead. He was poor. He was on assistant, welfare. He used to go down the railroad tracks. He didn't have nothing to eat. Pick up old stale vegetables and stuff to come back and feed his family. That's what the messenger did. Used to put cardboard in the bottom of the shoes to have some bottom for the children to walk on. This way he, he was a poor, he wasn't rich, but he suffered the same suffering that we suffered. For 44 years this man taught that Allah's God, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, and the white man is the devil. He taught that. And he stood up on that. The devil took him away. Pray be to Allah. Pray be to But you have a lot of them that believe that he's still alive. Yeah, but that's on you. The messenger taught us that you're not coming back after a physical death. No way, shape, form, or fashion are you coming back. And if you believe that for somebody, you want to believe that yourself. You just want to believe that. Because if your daddy died, my daddy passed away. He's gone. He's not coming back. I, ain't, I don't know where he's dead. Life is out of him. Once that, that breath of life leaves your body, that's it. If I drop dead right now, I'll be there till you move me, till you call your mess, come get me, take me out of here. I'm not coming back nowhere. And if you believe that, you want to believe that. The messenger said, Leave me where I'm at. Don't just let me let me alone. Leave me let me stay where I'm at. I, I don't know what's out there. I don't want to come back out there. Leave me alone. I, leave me just where I'm at. Just ask ourselves something. If the messenger was alive, he'd come right back to this door. To this door. All the stuff that's going on. Everything that's going on, they, they do it. Didn't do exactly what he said, just opposite of what he said, what he taught. 
What do you think will happen? Do you think he'll be happy with us? No, sir. After we done took his teachings and destroyed it? After we have uh, become uh, uh, enemies? One set against another set? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're only one. Yes, the message yes, there is one brotherhood. Yes, There's one sisterhood. Yes, sir. To FOI. Yes, That's the backbone of the nation. That's right. That's right. We're very fortunate to have, uh, to have had a messenger to teach us, brothers and sisters, because he didn't leave not one stone unturned. Everything, see, we can't come to the back door with Islam, not the messenger teacher, because it's plain. It's plain. We're very fortunate. We fighters for the truth. Allah, he's not going to fail. You know, to mess it up, you might a nation, you can accomplish as you will, as we will. We can accomplish anything because we got the God behind us who came in the person of the master, Farad Muhammad. He's the true and living God. And he's not going to, you cannot make the message out of a lie. It's because if you try and make the message out of a lie, you're making a lie out of a lie because that's where he got it from. The message say, I didn't get it from myself. He said, I'm too dumb. Where did I get all this knowledge? Where did he get all this knowledge from? And he told us and instructed all the people. He said, tell the people where you got it from. Don't make the people think you got it from yourself. You didn't get it from yourself. Because he didn't get it from himself. Allah gave it to him. Who came in the person of the Master Farad Muhammad. True and living God. Our people don't know who Master Farad Muhammad is. You got a lot of Muslims don't know who Master Farad Muhammad is. They have a misunderstanding. So we have to be taught. Even the messenger said that, 98% of the Arab world believe in a the spook. These Arabs. How this devil didn't come in until he was given that authority to rule for 6,000 years. But he was given an extension of time. Where do you get that from? The messenger. The messenger gave us that. We have all the lessons. Where do you get it from? Allah, who came in the person of the master for Adam Muhammad. The Adam Elijah Muhammad talked for 44 years before death took him away. 44 years this man, he didn't change. He didn't flip. He always said the white man was the devil. The devil took him. He said the white man is the devil. That's right. You can't reform him. He look at you like you're a fool. He doing exactly what he was supposed to do. Is to come in and deceive, deceive you and I. And put those ahead, handkerchief heads, in front of you and I. What Dr. King said, all these years, he's been trying to love white people. Wanted them to be his brother. The master said, he's not your brother, he's your enemy. White man is an open enemy to you and I. But he said, Dr. King said, I'm tired of marching. Got the video, he sure to you, said, coming right out of his mouth. There's a man that fought this man for years. He finally came to the conclusion, I'm tired of marching. That's what he said. He's not marching no more. He's tired of it. We were talking about the other day, the donkey. That's a donkey. Tired of the white man riding his back. See? All these different kind of things, but you got these leaders in front of them, they fill in their pocket, the message that they for themselves. You don't want nothing, they don't care nothing about you. No, they want to fill their pocket. They got the image they got to, 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 to live up to. You, know, you ride around in, 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 in tuna cans and whatnot, they got a limousine. You giving your hard earned dollar to maintain their way of life. The blood suckers of the Pope. That's what they are. They take the messenger's teachings and they turn it around and make themselves look big. See? But Allah got something for them. The messenger said that. Don't worry about a thing. Allah gonna gather them all up and chastise them. See, the messenger was a winner. He saw they fall. Allah showed it to him. He saw the fall of them. The messenger, it backs him up. The Holy Quran said, "You, you'll be the winner whether you're living or dead." And he is the winner. He is the winner. Praise be to Allah, because we're here. We're still here. And when we leave, it's gonna be somebody else, and it's gonna continue to go like that. Allah could bring it to a close 
any minute. Would he please? That's it. Don't pray for that day. Many of you be lagging behind with a filth and a doubtful mind. So if he come now, you ain't ready. Don't pray for it. Try to get ready. That's what you do. We're trying to be upright. That's what we have to do. Try and be upright. I thank Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Yes, True and living God. He's not a spook. He's a man. Yes, sir. Flesh and blood. He had a mother and a father and was born February the 26th, 1877. You have a birthday. I have a birthday. We all have birthdays. We all have mothers and fathers. It's always been like that. Master Farad Muhammad is flesh and blood. That's what he is. He's a God, the divine supreme being. He knows what we know. We don't know what he knows. That's what makes him supreme. He know our very thought. What we're going to think before we even think it. This is a God that we fooling with. This is a God that's well able to take you out. Well able to put a stop to all of it. See, that was Malcolm's problem in the message said. He forgot about Master Farad Muhammad. He talked all that big talk. But what happened? He got blown away. He talked, message said he talked blood bath and that's what happened to him. He got shot up. They tried to put it on the message. Message said, no, no, we don't, we don't care what. That wasn't none of my followers. There were some renegades out there. They wasn't following the message, so we don't care not a pin that. That's what he told. We let our life fight our battle, so we can't blame that on the message. Now Malcolm brought that on himself. And all the rest of them are gonna bring it on themselves, who take the messenger teaching and distort it and put themselves up like they the big boss. The message say they want to be the big boss of all. Look at his brother, Kalat, black brother. The message says, I made him the big boss. So I made him the captain. I made him the big boss of all of them. Never did I thought he'd deviate. But he showed me, Allah showed me, I didn't know their hearts. I didn't know his heart. But that's just going to show you. Allah prostrated him. Put him down on the ground. Looked up where he couldn't blink his eye. He told the messenger to cut my throat. He said, I can't cut your throat. I'm not going to cut your throat. That's what Allah do. He makes examples out of hypocrites. He makes examples out of us. He makes us manifest. Because he knows what is, what was, and what is ever going to be. He know that. This is the God that we have. This is the God that we rely on. This is the God that we trust. This is the God we have faith in. Because he knows he's well able to protect us. We're not the aggressor, but we know he's on our side. We're going to be the winner. Ain't no doubt about it in my mind. He says, keep firing, keep soldiering, keep pushing. Keep working hard. The message said, pretty soon that died out. What happened to Augustus? Remember Augustus Muhammad? Years ago, who rose up against the messenger? Nobody know where he's at. To this very day, they don't know where Augustus, where he's at. But Allah told the messenger when all this guy was having, he messed with having problems with this food. Allah told him, don't worry about him now, he dead. So I took care. You going about your business. It's the real God here. He's true and living God. He's powerful. Then we got to do. The message said, he's so powerful. If you have a thought, an evil, wicked thought in your mind to harm a believer, any kind of thought in your mind to harm a believer, Allah takes that what you want to do to the believer and reverse it and put it on yourself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he switched that and put it on you. Right. You wish the death of me? Okay, Allah going to turn it on you and going to wish the death of you. Right. That same thought you wish for me, he turn around and put it on you. That's, right. That's the God. That's, That's right. justice. That's, right. That's the God we have. That's right. The most one who's most worthy of their duty. Is the most precious one in our sight of Almighty God, Allah. Right. He or she, right. male or female, female believer, sister believer, brother believer. That's the, our God is justice. That's what you, you call it justice. You may not want it. That's right. That's yeah, right. You may not want it justice. Right. You call it justice. You may not want justice. So you might have something really do to you. That's right. You may not want it. That's right. Just be yourself. That's right. It's a righteous Muslim.
This is what we're trying to be a right. We need unity, brotherhood. And I say, love the brotherhood. That's what we, that's nothing like the brotherhood. You know, when you've been a follower of the messenger, and you had an honor, opportunity and an honor to see and to be around brothers and sisters, pioneers, how you respect the pioneers, they don't never be talked about too much. The trailblazers that fought for you and I to help us get where we are today. They had it hard, brother. And they kind of made it a little easier for you and I. Now, if we catch in hell, like, just think the hell that they talk, they caught. It's worse than what we catch. And, we, and he putting some on, he's a taskmaster. But we're able to withstand it because Allah is with us. He's with us. He's with the believers. But we just have to trust, trust in him. And have faith and confidence in it. Because the message said, I didn't promise you no smooth going. He said, but I can tell you one thing, you be the one of them. See? And it's not, it's not been a smooth going. Yes, it's not going to be no smooth going. Yes, as long as we have this beast out here, he ain't going to be no smooth going. He's going to have to be completely off the planet. Yes, See? And we don't know when that's going to be. Yes, so we just have to keep soldiering. Yes, keep pushing. Yes, keep our line the messenger out front. Yes, you don't put nobody else in front of the messenger. Yes, Oh, because you ask yourself, where did he get it from? And where did he get it from? Yeah. Allah came to seek and to save that which was lost. He found one from among you and I to teach and guide us. That's none other than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Nobody else. The messenger said, if I had 40,000 ministers, all they can do is be helpless. That's all they can be. Right. Allah didn't give them my mission. Right. He, he's the only one charged to deliver the message. That's, right. That's the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Nobody else. Right. Nobody else can claim they're not charged of nothing. That's right. They are witness bears. That's, right. That's all they are. Look how much knowledge they have. Right. And how much knowledge you think they have. Right. And how much knowledge they claim they have. That's Where did they get it from? They got it from the of Elijah Muhammad. Right. Allah knocked on his door. Right. All the rest of them was fiddling and dancing, drinking wine, smoking, gambling, all that, when the messenger talked the truth to them. All of them. That's right, sir. That's right. They weren't given no special privilege. That's right. Don't care who you are. You, if you just had a post. Right. You're the national representative, whoever you, you, the messenger gave you that post. Right. You didn't get it yourself. He gave it to you. In all of them, minister all of them, they come from the messenger back in the day. Down right, yes, Muhammad, right. you can't say you this, you that. No, you ain't nothing but a believer, like anybody else. You just got a little more work to do. That's all. <laughs> so you not, you not raw, raw down. No, it don't, it don't work like that. The messenger said, "Don't." He said, "Don't pray to me. Pray to the one I taught you to pray to." He said, don't put me in his spot. He said, he got a spot of his own. Yes, sir. Allah got a spot of his own. So don't put me next to him. Don't even put me next to him. Put me below him. That's right, sir. This is the messenger. That's right. Know who you is. That's right. That's right. You ain't nothing. That's right. Yeah, you respect. That's right. If you respect yourself, right. we're going to give you some respect. Yes, but you know, if you disrespect us, well, we're going to just try and be a brother to you. That's right. The messenger said, we fight fire with fire. Right. Truth. He say, standpoint to prove my position. That's, right. that's what he said. That's right. And that's exactly what we're going to try to do. Right. See? We don't want no enemies. Right. Should have enemy. You tell me that you this and you, and you that, and then I say, no, you're not. Well, you know you're not. But we have some, we, you know, our people are so loving. They're so loving. They don't have understanding. A man could come and say, take Islam and use it to benefit that you could take Islam and really use it for people that don't know but see one thing about it you got to answer to that for Allah he gonna hold you accountable for that because you're turning millions they're turning millions hundreds hundreds and thousands of people away from the message because they want that glory and fame for themselves 
and they misleading the people. And the people don't know, most of them. But I tell you, some of them begin to wake up. And when they wake up, and that nigga accused me for the line, you see in that cartoon, where the lost man was chasing this preacher. That's right, yes, sir. That's right. That preacher high tailored. Cause they find out he they lied to him. Right. We gonna get you. Right. See, a lot turn them on him, turn the people on you. Right. See, we very fortunate. Keep all that mess out front. We have all kinds of uh, warning signs, but people to rise up the mess you say. Come after him. Saying they this, saying they that. We see that. And we know. But you can't tell them. See, they, our people are so loyal to that. They'd rather fight you, just like the devil. Out here, our people are loyal to the Christian, to the preacher. They'll fight you for Christianity. Some of them will fight you for that. Take this here. You can't mix, mix Islam with nothing. You can't not mix Islam with falsehood. They, they, just, they just don't mix. The one going the truth going to spit out the falsehood. See? Because truth gonna swallow it up in the long run, so it's it's gonna be a clash there. Which one will survive the war of Armageddon? Truth or falsehood? That's it. Truth. We know. We know the sun and the moon and the star gonna last this. Yes, sir. We know that. Pray do that we, we we know that. that. That's we know that's gonna. They they need they need this, and everybody else need it. Not only that, truth. We need truth. This is the life-giving teaching. This is the only thing that's going to save you and I. The message is teachings. Nobody else, if they're not teaching what the message you taught, they won't make it. I don't care how many thousands that's with them. It never have been a, it always has been a few. Just been a few. We have the history. Look at Noah. Just was a few. They came, the flood came down. They didn't believe it. But it came too late. Sodom and Gomorrah. See, just look, look, just all this. A city was destroyed. The message said, earthquakes. And never been rebuilt to this day. It was, it's gone. And so it's going to be with America. When Allah destroy America, it's going to be no more. It's going to be no trace of it. See? So these kind of things. And when, if you go down, it's going to be no trace of you either. See, these different kind of things. We have to understand the message. Be careful who you follow. Right. See, you might be following a hypocrite. Right. He said that from his mouth. He said, if they're not teaching you what I taught you, he said, you get up and you walk right out of there. That's what he said. Right. What you hanging on for? Right. See, birds and a feather flock together. Right. You caught between uh, your opinion. It shouldn't be opinion. You see truth. Right. You know the truth when you see it. Pray be your life. When you accepted Islam, you knew it was the truth. Yes, so what's the problem? Right. See, these kind of things. It's like those who follow the beast will go down with the beast right. in a lake of fire. Right. See? Once you know this truth, you held accountable for it. That's right. That's right. See, we know it now. Right. Uh, we can't walk out. We, we know it now. Uh, when we say we believe, I believe that Allah came in the person of the Master for our Muhammad. I believe that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was his last and greatest messenger. Right. He took an oath. Right. When you go in the devil's army, or you the police force, they give you, you take an oath. Right. Even some office that you that he have, you put you in charge of, you are gonna take an oath. You gonna swear your allegiance to him. You swear I'll let you to Allah right. and the messenger. Right. Don't swear I'll let you to you, brother. That's right. That's right. No. Or you, sister. That's right. It's Allah and the messenger. That's, right. That's what we swear I'll let you to. Yeah. Mm -mm. We have a lot of them out there. A lot of them. But you can't prove the messenger a lie. That's right. You can't prove it. A lot of them, brothers and sisters. We have to just think. Your life depends upon it. Every tub sits on his own bottom. 
you giving the truth and you know the truth deep down inside. You know the truth. Compare the truth. Compare a message and say, if I'm not teaching you the right thing, well, I'll take my followers and come follow you. Right. He said, but now if I'm right, you should take yours and come follow me. Right. So this is what he said. You, you have to judge. You have to be the judge. Look, it's no game. Right. And if we're not in the court, Allah is going to get you. Destruction is going to get you. It's going to overtake you. And you got these messages that say, watch out for that smart, crooked deceiver who's always trying to put one over. Not just a little time, all time. He's smart with words. They can take words and flip them. And then when you corner them up in the corner, you try to get some explanation, you trap them. I didn't say that. I meant this. No, you know what he meant. I know what he meant. Look at Wallace. Good example. Look at him. A hypocrite. He died a hypocrite. We feel sorry for him? No, I don't feel sorry for him. None of us feel sorry for him. I'm not saying to be bold, bad. He's a hypocrite. That's what he died. Hated his father. That's right. He didn't like his father. Turned hypocrite against his father. Talking about his father tricked us. This man. This son. The master said, I, I must. I mean, never had to do a hard day's work. I always took care of my family. I love my family. And this hypocrite come up and say, he tricked us. In other words, what he was talking to us was a lie. So he called God a lie. He knew better than that, but he turned hypocrite. Went with Malcolm. See? So he got deserved what he did. Allah took him out. See? And he gonna take all the rest of them out. Who's Stumbling block in the way. That's what they are. They in the way. They're like a big roadblock. You got. To, we we got to keep going around them. Keep edging. We we got to edge around them. But pretty soon, a lot gonna make them. We gonna roll right over them. That's right. That's right. The message say, these coming in today, the they gonna look at you and they ain't gonna pay you no mind. They're going to walk right on by you and ain't going to pay you no mind. The ones that's coming in today. The message said that from his mouth. And that's exactly what's happening. They coming in, they ain't paying them no mind. If the name come up, it come up. We keep rolling. Because we know, well, that's Allah going to take care of him in due time. Allah let him see it, though. Death takes him away. Death takes him away. All that little chest time and all that they going to get is gone. He going to let him see it. Agony, guilt, all this. Whoa, I wish I'd have went with the message. Right. Oh, no. Thousands of people, they turn away. Thousands of people. See? You got them. See? But you have to make that choice today. It's on you. You can't fault nobody but yourself. Because you've been lied to.